That's right, folks. We're about to play Nancy Drew, the Deadly Device. This is number 27. And if you haven't watched any of my previous Nancy Drew playthroughs, there'll be links for all of them down in the description for the video. This is my sixth game. Lucky number six. I have played uh, most of the recent ones. And once I play this one, I'll be sort of caught up before the new one comes out, Silent Spy. But you don't want to hear all about that, you want to watch the game, and so do I. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let's just do a quick peek here on the options here. So I think everything it's looks locked. pretty good here. Uh, extras, so you've got credits, outtakes, and teaser, so we'll do that all at the end. Uh, more Nancy Drew. So yeah, so I just finished playing at Tomb of the Lost Queen. I've also did Alibi and Ashes, Captive Curse, and Shadow at Water's Edge. So... Now I'm doing Deadly Device, let's go ahead and get cracking. So we're going to go ahead and play on Master Sleuth. So I play a lot of casual games on my channel. Uh, I must have played over 150 different casual games. And I typically take those ones easy. However, to challenge myself, when I play the Nancy Drew, I always go the higher difficulty, just for fun. Scientists found electrocuted in a laboratory. Foul play suspected. Nancy, you made it. Good. You couldn't tell me much earlier. What's the story? You'll find all the information in Nico's desk drawer. The combination is 171943. Got it. I'll need full access to the lab and a cover. For the cover, say you're doing due diligence for a new investor. I'll back you up if anyone asks. But full access to the lab? No. It's too dangerous. If I can't investigate everything, I might have a problem on my hands. All right. I'll have Ellie set up a demo for you. But that's it. The equipment in this lab is extremely dangerous. Got it. Approach the case how you want, but I think I know where you should start. Ryan. The police really thought she might be behind Nico's murder. They just couldn't prove it. She built the machine that killed him, and supposedly she'd threatened him. Start there. I've got to leave the office. If you need me, I'll be on my phone. Good luck. Stay safe. And please, help me do right by Nico. He was a brilliant scientist and a good man. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Players can get help by clicking on the menu button. So, yeah, so we'll go ahead and save it here. Why not? Sure, deadly device 01. Save. Uh, what else is on the menu? It's your standard load, options, help, resume, which is fine. We have Nancy Drew's phone. And I should say that uh, I bought this actually off of uh, her interactive. So I have kind of like the bonus edition or whatever they call it, extended edition or so anyways really it's more about uh, there should be phone charms in this game and it comes with these games here too so uh, not that I'll spend too much time of that with that on camera but uh, yeah so anyways uh, just thought I should mention that right off the bat I do have the edition from here on here interactive or sorry her interactive so I don't have any messages the weather looks beautiful in Colorado Springs. Looks like we can call Frank and Joe Hardy. Let's just do that because we can. Nancy, Frank was just talking about you. Oh yeah? Is that so? Just recounting the time. So, how are you? How's Colorado? I'm good. Actually, I have to go pick up my case file. 
I'll catch you up later. Okay, we'll catch up with you later. The Hardy Boys are in this game. And this button right here, this is the ward fire button. She's been uh, after me to hit the back button. And uh, so there you go. There, see, I did it. See, look, see, I did it. And that'll be probably the only time I remember to do it. Alright, let's go into Nico's office. Let's see what we have here. It looks like it's missing the opening mechanism. <laughs> look at all these things. Hmm. I want, I want a Kringle bar. <laughs> Infinite candies for the win. Alright, so what else do we have over here? Anything interesting? Doesn't look like it. So we can maybe look here. Okay, so we can't get in there either. Alright, so let's turn over this way. What do we have here? Hey, what's this over here? Hi there. What do you do? Do you just wave your... Does something come here? Come on, birdie. Dance, birdie, dance. I want a robot bird like this one. Although it doesn't really do a hell of a lot. Look at it, it just sort of waddles it with its wings. <laughs> Alright, bird. We'll be back. Let's see what we got here. I need to find a way to fix this. Need to fix it, do we? This must be the drawer where Victor put the case file. Uh, let's see what the journal said here. Uh, 171943. 171943. Check mark. Can't check that off yet. But, but, I want to. Nancy, here are the notes from the police investigation. Keep the contents of the file to yourself and do not remove it from Nico's office. If anyone should discover, discover the file on you, your cover will be blown. Alright, so here we have a neat little bit of detail. I guess we're going to get to know some of the folks here. We've got Nico. Uh, victim was, wild, was widely acclaimed as a genius in his field. Personnel, Mason, Ali. So who looks guilty here? I don't know. Ryan, technical engineer. I like her goggles. Those are kind of nice. No, suspect questioned. Questioning failed to provide an ironclad alibi for any employee. Key card log records indicate another entry shortly before victim's death. But security video, la la la, obtained from head of security showed no one entering the lab from the time of the victim's entrance until his time of death. Okay, so we have done that. That's done. Sure is. Okay, so that's cool. Anything else I can do in his desk? What about the bird? No, seriously, why? I want to know what this pad is here. Huh. Wow. I do like the bolts in the background. It's kind of a nice art deco, sort of steampunk, sciencey look to it, even with the wallpaper and the bricks. I think if I ever had an office like this, I would want like a little robot bird in the corner. <laughs> he laid an egg. A pigeon laid an egg. <laughs> okay. It's a chicken egg. A future omelet of secrets. Uh, I thought we were going to get some lights or something, and we have an egg instead. I like eggs. Alright, so let's back out here. We have to figure out what to do next. Maybe we can explore outside. Maybe. Let's get back outside once I figure out how to go there. Okay, we're out. Huh. Oh, am I supposed to do this? 
Ah, we'll leave it and we'll... Oh look, it's a periodic table! Yay, science rules! Look at all this good stuff here. What's changed in the last 50 years? Anything? I don't think anything's changed on that particular one. Trivia night. What do we have over here? Can we actually turn it off or is it... I broke it. <laughs> I think I broke it. Crud. That's the elevator. I don't think I want to go there. Can we go here? It's locked. This looks like I need a car to get in the lab. I sure do. What's over here? So at this point, I'm just more investigating. Oh, let me in here for sure, right? Well, I guess I can try the elevator. Take me up. What do we have here? Woo, a robot. There's like a sheet metal everywhere, or whatever you want to call that. Hmm. What's this all about? Look at the 15 things you never knew about electricity. Nikola Tesla created the longest ever man-made lightning bolt. Hmm. I wonder what all these dots mean. I'm not feeling I'm going to need that. Actually, you know what, Nancy? Take a picture, will you? Yeah, we're going to... Zoom out and take a picture of electricity. There we go. Definitely gonna save that. Thank you. Mm. We're definitely going into the underbelly here. It's a motorcycle. Whoa, we found a uh, phone charm. See? It's a skull. <laughs> That's great. So how many are there usually in this game? Like maybe six or seven of these phone charms? <laughs> Whoa, hi Ryan. I'm so sorry about that. Are we cool? Um, yes. Good. I was really hoping you'd be the type not to freak out about something like that. Not that you shouldn't. It's reasonable to freak out after a near-death experience. Not that that was super near-death, but you know, closer than what you get walking through most doors. It's okay. I'm fine. Good. I had a whole argument prepared about labs, and the risks of working with machinery, and the importance of forgiveness. Do you want me to hit all the bullet points? That's not necessary. Are you sure? I practiced. No, I, I get it. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. What do you do at the lab? I'm so sorry, but I have to ask why you're here. Why are you here? I'm Nancy Drew. I'm here to do due diligence for a potential new owner. I'm sorry. I'm an adult, and there's nothing funny about what you just said. Whoa! Wait! Back to the information. We're getting a new owner? Maybe. But first I need to ask some intrusive questions. Oh. I know you've gotten enough of this. I really do. But it's my job. I've done worse things for my job. Like what? I build tools. They're not always used in a good way. What do you mean by that? I couldn't tell you about it if I wanted to. Confidentiality. Okay, Ryan. Thank you. Goodbye. Later. Later. Ooh, tools. Security office. Why is this here? Hmm. Hmm. Tools that I can't take. Maybe we have to get rid of our friend Ryan. Hmm. Hey, that looks familiar. We had something exactly like that in the last game, Tomb of the Lost Queen. It was a uh, code to get into a security box or a Wow, these tools are shiny. 
on. Doesn't look like I can get any business over here. What else is over here? Um. Is this your motorcycle? It's my sweet ride! But it's not done yet. But I'm working on it. It looks done to me. Is Nancy gonna be a mechanic? Good question. Ooh, look at this door all locked up here. Alright, so where should we go? I do wanna... I guess we have to go... over this way. Hello! Oh, it's a gummy bear! Oh, we have to look at that for sure. Yes! Gummy bear! What do we have here? Book. Tesla coils, a user's guide. Oh, good grief. To lower voltage stress, we replace the old single cap with a multi miniature capacitor matrix. Ryan will place part in a spark cap with one Michael to her modified. What? Whoa, check out all this electricity. This reminds me of electrical engineering. I had to take one course when I went to university. Boy, that was a tough one. <laughs> yeah. Electrical engineering is hard. Kudos to all you folks out there that are taking that. What are you doing? Hi there. If it looks like I'm busy, that means I'm busy. Wow, you need what to are you just working on? relax. It's immensely complicated. Get a postgrad in advanced math and electrical engineering, then I'll explain it to you. Put it in layman's terms. Fine. There's this shiny magic that lives in the power lines, <laughs> and it's dangerous and sly like a fox. And I'm using math to trick it into leaving the power lines, without accidentally making everyone die. That sounds like you're working on the wireless transmission of electricity to me. If you want to put too fine a point on it, go ahead, stranger. Which brings me to my next point. Who am I? Please let the answer be something that justifies me kicking you out of my workspace. <laughs> I'm here on behalf of a new potential owner. Wrong. No, that's correct. No, I mean wrong answer for me. Not the answer I wanted to hear. Who do you see on an average day? Just me. Sometimes Ryan. You ask a lot of questions. Ever thought of being a scientist? Mm, sometimes. Good answer. The world needs more people with questions. And fewer people who are sure they have the answers. Okay. Did you work directly with Nico? No one worked with Nico. We barely spoke to each other. That's the way he liked it. He practically lived in the lab. If he wanted to look at my work, he'd just root around in my hard drive. So he'd come in here when you were gone? No, he'd use the network. He'd just snoop in your files? That seems kind of annoying. Not kind of. Entirely. It's unethical, and it allowed him to steal. Whoa, I think we have a motive. And I just realized, look how organized his desk is. Like, with the pencils. I don't know what that is. It looks like a flowchart of some sort. And these dry erase markers. and Everything's so organized. Even the height of all these binders is just thus and so. And up here, too. This guy is a little bit too particular. You mentioned Nico stealing your work. Can you prove that? No. You must be pretty upset about that. Say what you really want to say. Did the police know your feelings about Nico? What a peculiar question. Do you have a peculiar answer? I do, in fact, have a peculiar answer. I actually told the police the truth. A more interesting question is how is Ryan still a free woman? Why shouldn't she be? In this case, the smoking gun is a miswired Tesla coil that she built. That no one could have possibly tampered with? Come on, Mason, you can do better than that. Did you dislike Nico? Very much so. Would you go as far as to say you hated Nico? I would go that far, and further. That guy was a jerk. That seems a little disrespectful, considering... 
Does it? Am I supposed to pretend he's great now that he's dead? Lots of jerks have died, and he's one of them. He's a dead, brilliant, jerk madman. The world would be much better off if he'd lived to share more of his intellect. But I selfishly am glad I'll never have to deal with him again. What do you remember about the day Nico died? More than I care to. I imagine. Did anything stick out? Yes, the police. It was weird. One of us killed Nico, and here they were, talking about a basketball game, like it was any other day. You said one of us. Why? Why not say someone? It's just an expression. It's not an expression I'm aware of. Don't be contrarian. It doesn't suit you. Whoa, Mason is a smart ass. Do you like Ryan? Let me save you some time. I don't like anyone. That can't be true. Observe, and I'll demonstrate. <laughs> wow. People. It seems strange to me that you could be so blasé about a murder. I deal with things on my own time. But if you are desperate to watch someone cry, Ellie's always available. Who's Ellie? Do you know why Ryan would want to hurt Nico? The police already asked the same thing. Well, what did you tell them? I said if I were to have killed Nico, it'd be because he stole my work. Whoa, hold on. It's just a for instance. Is it? Yes, that's because I think logically. I force myself to think from A to B to C and so on. Ryan is all over the place. For her, it's A to zucchini. To that thing from TV, to maybe C, then on to some non sequitur. I don't trust anyone I can't explain. <laughs> I'm already liking Ryan. <laughs> What's so special about Tesla? If you have to ask that, you haven't done your research. I mean, to you, what brought you here? The work. I turned down Los Alamos in a tenure track position to be here. Most people don't know this, but the majority of Tesla's work was confiscated by the FBI. Why? Could be he was designing weapons. Could be he had a breakthrough that threatened the energy magnates. Don't know. It's all been hidden. Mm. What matters is, there's a little bit still here. I always suspected Nico had some squirreled away, and I'd be able to find it. But either he didn't, or I couldn't. You said you were searching for Nico's work. Did you ever look in Nico's personal things? Of course I looked. <laughs> okay, Mason. I do want to go back and talk to Ryan, but we're going to do that in the next video. Let me know what you think about the deadly device. For some of you that have played the game, or some of you that have already seen the game, let me know what you think. Of course, I don't appreciate the spoilers. However, I would love to hear your thoughts. And for now, we'll say goodbye, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. See you later.